Hi guys, good morning. So I've I got a few comments. Um, one in specific um, from a lovely lady who lives in Tennessee. You know who you are. <laughs> and um, I felt the need to do a little video because um, oh, you know, she talks about how hard it is to see beyond the matrix, to to cultivate self-love, to feel better, to self-actualize, to gain free will, autonomy, to, to you know, it, it's difficult to put into words. Um, mm. Now, first of all, I never said it would be easy, because as we all know, it isn't easy. It's, in fact, it's fucking hard, hard going. Mm. We know that. Um, I get it wrong all the time, you know, and for many, many years I was not even able to function, all right? I had a childhood where I was consistently demolished psychologically, physically, in, in every imaginable way and it's a fucking miracle that I'm alive at all after what happened to me when I was a child. It was bad. I won't go into details because that's just pointless really. Um, and for many years I was completely lost and I was actually very sociopathic because I could feel absolutely no empathy either for myself or for anybody else at all. I was literally like a, like an automaton and the fuel that drove me was trauma and PTSD. You know, I was a heroin addict, I was, um, I mean I was in a number of really bad violent relationships and it never in that time ever occurred to me at all that I could have a different life that I was um, capable of healing. I wasn't even aware that I needed healing. I just thought that that is what it was because when they do that to you, when they traumatize you to that level, you lose yourself. You really do. You just lose yourself. You, 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 you become... I, I, it's very difficult to put into words, but you become a non-being, almost. You're just programming. That's it. Um, but I've always had this, like I said, this guidance, this spirit, this force with me. And it gradually showed me the way out. You know, all those years in where I was living in London and they were dark, dark years. It was a very difficult time. Um, but I was getting synchronicity and I was getting epiphanies and insights. I remember walking down um, Frith Street in Soho in London <laughs> and something just went click in my head and in my heart it said you know <clears throat> you can have empathy for yourself and you can have empathy for other people it it was more than just a, a thought or an epiphany epiphany it was it was an actual knowing something in me the gnosis woof. and so i moved up a level i i changed you know, and these types of things have happened to me throughout my life. And I have always, yes, I, 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 I've always had that thirst because obviously my soul knew that I was a prisoner. 
you know. And this, this prison that we're in has many doors, it has many chambers. And one door opens, but you're still in the prison. So you go into another area, maybe slightly larger, but that also has a door, which will open, and so forth, and so on. That's kind of the best way that I can describe it. Now that's my life. And I'm here today, when I could have been dead quite a few times over, when I could have been a broken down wreck still, but I'm not. But you see, for me, I've always had the will. Whenever these, these, these Whenever the gnosis came to me, I have said yes to it. I was able to say yes to it, would probably be more accurate to say. I was able to. Mm. That's not to say that I'm happy as Larry today, because I'm not, because I see, I know. And I also know what lies within me still. But especially the last 10 years of my life, and then even more so the last four years of my life, this gnosis has grown and grown and grown, and there is a presence with me which has continued to show me things. There is all the synchronicity which like I said, has ramped up more and more and more. And then things happen that show me that it's safe and right for me to trust that invisible presence because shit happens, which then I react to at first. I was like, oh, this is fucked up, this is fucked up, this is fucked up. But then it all gets resolved and I have learned many, many valuable things through it. Because the synchronicity was telling me all along, this is going to be okay. It's there to liberate you. It's there to help you. We're not trying to punish you. Please trust. That was a message that kept showing up everywhere. And I mean, that's a sentence that you wouldn't just see in a day-to-day -day run of life, yet I saw it like four or five times, it, it was incredible, and that's when I knew, okay, right, learning to trust takes fucking time, people, it takes time, and it takes a willingness to do so. What we need for our liberation, our freedom, our healing, um, doesn't often come from out there. It isn't about, oh, well, I don't have access to the right foods. I don't have access to free energy. I don't have access to this or that. Ergo, I'm not able to heal. That's defeatism, and that is making excuses. Yes, it is. What we need to burst out of this limitation game is already within us. It was always there, albeit deep, deep, deep down, but it was always fucking there. You see, we can sit around, right, and wait for something out there to happen so that we may evolve. That's not the way. That is waiting for something or someone to come and rescue you. And that's not what this is about. If you do not use that which lies within you that is powerful and of the light, if you allow that to just, you know, lie dormant and do nothing with it and wait for somebody to come and rescue you or something to happen, 
you know, for, I don't know, for the, uh, the UFOs to come and set us all free, or whatever, or for somebody to come through with free energy, <laughs> or whatever, then you're not really getting it. And this is not an indictment of any kind. I understand. I used to think the same way. Believe me, I did. I tend to feel that th there is a natural, organic progress here. And if you find yourself in that state of being, where you look at the world and you see it, and you see what the fuck is going on and how fucked up it is, and you're feeling really fucking angry and you want to kill, maim, destroy, that is a perfectly natural feeling. So own that. Say, yes, this is how I feel. I feel lost. I feel defeated. I feel fucking fed up and I have had enough and I... You know... You're living in a fucking broom cupboard, you know, that's getting tighter and tighter and squeezier and squeezier and you can barely fucking breathe. I know the feeling. You get to a point where there is nowhere left to fucking go. Nowhere. Every direction you go, looking for help, looking for assistance, looking for validation, looking for praise, looking for anything you will meet with a fucking blank wall and it hurts but that is the way of the false self the false self needs constant feeding it's like the archons that need constant feeding give me give me give me give me give me and it's a bottomless pit it won't get you anywhere it just won't it's a fucking futility You see, what happened to me was that gradually, by degrees, through meaningful coincidences, i.e. synchronicity, and meeting people, like I have, I met one woman years ago online, and we struck up a friendship and she showed me many wonderful things some of the things she said I was like what the fuck but other things were incredibly meaningful and helped me because yes I took it in myself because it resonated because I knew beyond the shadow of a doubt that this is true for me now and it helped me you see, it requires commitment to self. It requires commitment to your ultimate liberation. It requires commitment to learning to disentangle from the constant fear and expectation of shit to happen to you. Because that is a fucking program. And that is what the dark side wants. Yes, we purge. Purging is good. Let it up. When you feel like you're going insane with rage, with fear. Fear is a hard one. Whoa. you got to let it up and out. you got to look that fucking thing in the eye and say, yes, this is how I feel. But you see, you need to think as well. You need to employ your intellect. Why? What kind of childhood did I have? What happened to me? How was I treated? How is, what is that doing to me now? How is that hindering me? How is that obscuring me? What has it done to my consciousness? Do I really deserve to be treated like shit? Do I deserve to be powerless? Do I deserve to be a slave? What do I really want? What do I want? And start experimenting with that. Get a fucking mirror and sit there and look in the mirror and say things like, I deserve well-being. I deserve to know who I truly am. I want to know all of me. I want to know what I can do, what am I capable of. 
I want to know and recognize and pinpoint all the different programs and all the different hijacks and manipulations and nebulous areas of my psyche. I want to know truth such as it is. I want my liberation. I want infinite creativity. I want to crawl out of this cocoon and become the magnificent butterfly that I know deep down I am. Am I willing to go into the unknown? Am I willing to suspend the victimhood? It's very, very, very addictive. It is that way for a reason, because most people cannot get past it for a time, because it's all you've known, it's all we've known, right? Limitation, smallness, rules, regulations, the law. You went to school where you will have been bludgeoned into mindless obedience to the system, right? That is massive programming. Children are very, very susceptible, man, you know. Introspection is what it's all about. And not punishing yourself for not feeling good. You're not going to feel good most of the time. That is just par for the course. When you start to chisel out, hack out that fucking programming, you start seeing it, all the different crazy, insane nuances of it. It fucking hurts. You wake up more, you do see, yes, we could have some sort of free energy. We could have a cure for cancer. There's no need for any kind of disease. There's no need for us to grow old like so quickly. There's no need for us to die and go to the NDE place and be sent back here again and again and again and again. This is demiurge bollocks. This is a very clever, clever, clever deception. You know, you meet all the wonderful angels and all the love. Well, they can induce emotions. They can induce just about anything to make you think you're in heaven and you're speaking to fucking Jesus, you know. As far as I'm aware, Jesus was never a real person. He, it's, it, it, it's a consciousness. It's a type of consciousness, the Christ within. You know, Stargots talks about this. I agree with him. Okay, so... It isn't fucking easy. No, of course not. Why would anybody expect it to be easy? We're warriors of the light. We came here to do a fucking job. It's a quest. It's an experience that ultimately will deeply enrich our entire true self, our soul. We've got to get out of this victimhood bollocks. Believe me, I know it's fucking hard. I struggle with it too. You know, the last six weeks of my life have been fucking hell, all right? Because shit happened and it was bad. But I actually managed not to feel victimized. I actually managed to find some peace and to say, you know what, fuck it. And I started doing some creative visualization. I know that sounds very new age, but you know, something said to me, start to imagine what you want the outcome to be and start to feel how it would make you feel if it all sorted out real nice. So I did that, and I did it every day, and guess what? The outcome was exactly as I'd imagined it, as I'd felt it. It was amazing. We are creator beings. We have power. But if we do not use that power, if we stay stuck in the I am a powerless victim zone, we are doing ourselves a massive disservice. It's about going through those phases of feeling that way and then saying to yourself, yes, 
I understand what you're feeling and I love you because you have been through absolute hell. You have been traumatized to the hilt. So it's perfectly normal that you're feeling that way. Well, it is normal, but it isn't normal. It's not meant to be that way, but it is. It is what it is what it is. So accept that part of you, that wounded fucking child, embrace her, him, and say, I love you. I love you. I love you and I accept you. You are a part of me. And keep doing that. Because self-love is so important. It is the key to it all. So when you get this overwhelming sense of nothing is working out, nothing is going my way, and I feel hopelessly trapped with my back against the wall like a rabbit caught in the headlights of a car on a dark road in the middle of the fucking night, and I can't fucking move, then be with that and ask spirit, the presence, whatever you want to call it, to help you. Now that help doesn't necessarily come in the way you'd like it to or expect it to and it won't always come immediately because you may just need to purge out a shitload of trauma. One way to help with that is to do T-R-E. It's fucking good. I know from experience. Trauma release exercises. Go online on YouTube and put in T-R-E or trauma releasing exercises. It's a very simple set of movements. You then lie on your back and you shake like a leaf and believe me, it helps. There are ways in which to help yourself. You know, I, I don't do meditation, I don't do yoga or any of that because I find meditation is just like a plaster. It just sort of, you know, I want to feel. I don't want to deaden it. I'm not a big believer in meditation. I actually think it's, it's not of the light believe it or not. Then again, that's just me. Meditation may be very helpful for some people because we're all different. Yoga may be very helpful for some people. It didn't do a damn thing for me. <clears throat> but TRE does work for me. Our comfort zone is victimhood, misery, you know, Resignation, despair, rage, hate, fear. Nobody wants to be there and nobody really chooses to be there, but it is habitual and it is addictive. And it's difficult to find your way out of that maze. Very hard. But we keep trying and we keep getting there, baby steps, baby steps, you know. I don't have all the answers, all I have is my own experiences, you know. I, I'm not a very courageous person, you know. I mean, I get frightened very easily and the last six weeks of my life I've, I've, I have felt a lot of fear. A lot. But I was able to look it in the eye and to say, you know what, I'm just here now. Nothing really bad is happening to me right now in this minute. So I'm just going to be here in this minute. And, and I was able to let that go. But it took me years to learn that, you know. So don't beat yourselves up if you're not getting it. And when I do a video about things like this, and you're there and you're thinking, well, you make it sound so easy. Well, no, I, I don't make it sound easy. I don't think I ever have because you know what? It isn't fucking easy. No. But you see, we are warriors of the light. We are able. We can do this. Yes, we can. Yes. Do not give up. Do not give up on yourself, okay? There's shit loads of stuff in the world that you can do not a fucking thing about. The only thing that you have power over is your own consciousness. That's it. 
and you're not walking this this road alone there are many other people well maybe not many but i'm here and there's there's other people there who are going through this as well remember that and try and connect you know and there is this invisible presence this it is there so speak to it i, I hesitate to use the word prayer because i don't like that prayer it's got religious connotations and fuck religion man it's pure evil but speak to it and keep speaking to it and be open to receiving signs you know you will get there you know you will get there don't give up don't give up on yourself you will get there I know that you will you all will I will continuously there is more going on here than we can see at present because we're still kind of living in a very narrow bandwidth which is expanding yes it is but boy oh boy much more to come people I know it much more I've said it before and I'll say it again we are capable of incredible incredible feats magic we are alchemists and we are magicians and we are here for a fucking reason now is not a time to give up love yourself when you feel like absolute shit and you feel utterly hopeless and you just feel like you can't fucking take not a minute of this shit then have compassion for yourself have compassion for that because it is a relevant feeling it is completely natural in this fucking nightmare world have compassion for it do not judge yourself for feeling that way okay but do not think that a cure for cancer free energy is going to save the day is going to save you you're waiting for something from the outside to sort out your inside that's not going to happen you are responsible for your inside you struggle with it you don't know what to do but it will come to you i know it will i went through many years of fucking confusion like you wouldn't believe and literally crawling on my knees through the filth but i was adamant that i wasn't going to give up and i started finding the pearls little by little and it brought me to where i am today and the journey is unfolding it will be all right it really will you are stronger than you think you are you have more courage than you could possibly begin to imagine and you are warriors of the light man it's, we are very very special powerful beings so let's use all that energy right there is no such thing as negative energy really it can all be utilized you know another thing is as well if something information or something you're watching on youtube or a film or a book or a conversation or people or whatever if it feels off and wrong then turn around and walk the fuck away from it to do that stay the fuck away from that and do not expect other people to give you validation or anything right many of us are pretty much on our own i mean i'm lucky i've had a few i've got a few friends that are with it you know which is great um but i have also been alone the world thinks you're completely mad so fucking what you know i think that's a good thing let them think i'm completely mad let them say look there's the mad woman the freak 
I say, okay, to that. I don't want to be like them. If they think I'm a freak, I think that's a compliment, right? I take that on board and I feel good about that. You know, we tend to get into, I don't know, friendships or relationships that aren't good for us just because we need some company or just because we need some validation or just because we just want to be loved. That means we're not loving ourselves. You're not going to get any good relationships if you do not love yourself. It has to start here with you loving yourself. It means accepting the whole of you, all the, the dark shit, the shadow, all the insanity and, and, and also the good things. There are good things about us, you know, as well. Even when we're in the middle of the dark night of the soul, you have compassion, you have empathy. Yeah, it shows you, you are valuable, you are beautiful. I guess that's really all I have to say. I mean, I don't really have the answers. I can't sort out anybody else's life. That is not my job. You know, I'm just here to share what I feel. When 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 this this spirit, the presence says, Anika, you need to do a video. Talk about that. I do it. That's all. You know? I never expected this to be easy. Even when I was little, I knew, I just somehow knew that life was going to be a motherfucker. I just knew it, man. I looked at the people around me and I just knew everything was fucking wrong. <laughs> I mean, the conversations they were having about such meaningless fucking dross. I, I could tell they were all children. You know? Because they, they were not growing up, they were not wise. Most of them had no compassion, they were just full of judgment and full of fucking dysfunctional bollocks. Even as a child I was witnessing and, and paying attention and thinking this is seriously fucked up, you know, but you get to your teenage years and it gets under your skin, you know, so you lose it for a while. You lose it. Or well, you think you lose it, but you're not really losing it. It just goes dormant. Then you awaken and boom, it all comes up again. So if you're going through this period or times or years of feeling like I've had enough and I can't do this anymore and I'm not getting anywhere and if only I had this and if only I had that, then I would be okay. Then, you, you know, you need to say, okay, stop. What if everything I need lies within me and I speak to the presence and ask for it to be revealed so that I may take and step into the right direction, my liberation? Yeah, I don't know, man, you know. We all do the best we can, I know that much. So do not punish yourselves, do not beat yourselves up. I say, let other people do that, for they surely will. <laughs> and then when they do that, realize that they're giving you a compliment. So that's all for today. You know, all my love to all of you and, uh, you know, do the work, people. You know, we're not fucking sissies here. We're warriors of the light, you know? We're fucking lions, bears, eagles. Bless you all. <laughs>